Chris Chase um, from AT&T Labs and AT&T Fellow, distinguished member in um, technical services, and I work on our broadband services, IP perform performance for our mobility network, um, internet architectures. That's what I do. Uh, so what was the main message of your presentation? Uh, it's about where AT&T is going with IPv6 for our wired broadband services and that we are now deploying and providing that for our customers today. Very interesting. So what advice do you have for other IPv6 professionals? Well, I guess my main advice would be coming this next year, 2012, where it's going to be the first big year, I think, for IPv6 that users will start to see the availability at least with broadband services and other isp business services the ability to reach internet sites that are v6 enabled you'll be able to reach them now and that will finally give people a chance to have some incentive to v6 enable their content because there will be significant numbers of users out there that can get to it over v6 without going through say an at and so I, I think people should look as 2012 is the year to finally start doing something with IPv6.